Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 38, verse 24. And let every man esteem his brother as himself and practice virtue and holiness before me. Alright. So we need to esteem each other. And give love unto one another. We need to treat others as we would want to be treated. We need to also treat others as we would constantly treat ourselves. If we love ourselves, we should so we should also love others. Virtue means valuing oneself to the point where you do things that will only help yourself grow and not hurt yourself. Virtue means being unafraid to stand as a witness to your values. Virtue means viewing yourself as a temple and being very careful not to do things to yourself that would harm that temple and the sacredness of that temple because Heavenly Father and, Je and Jesus Christ created all of us. And the best way to honor what they have done for us is to treat our bodies and our hearts and our minds with respect and also do the same to one another. We need to give each other esteem and we need to esteem each other. We need to acknowledge that we're all children of God. And that we are holy. And that as holy beings we need to learn and grow. We're not perfect. We need to admit that to ourselves. And we need to take the time to learn and grow and be willing to learn and grow through the atonement of Jesus Christ. For it is the thing that has saved us and allowed us to look beyond our sins and realize that we are holy, that we might be able to treat ourselves like the children of God that we are and live in a state of holiness or strive to live in a state of holiness. Because we are sinners and saints, we are evolving continually. And as we come to realize that the atonement can help us be able to look beyond our sins, we can become better. We are children of God and so is everyone else, but we all forget that we're children of God from time to time and we don't do things that are in accordance with virtue. We don't treat our bodies as we should. We sometimes expose our minds to that which is not good for it. And we sometimes make choices that pull us away from the Spirit of God and that we end up needing to repent of. And so we need to remember that we're children of God. And I mean, I don't know how we're going to do that. It's up to us how we do that. But we came from heavenly parents to earth that we might have a mortal experience in mortal families. And we have different experiences in these mortal families. Some are good and some are not so good. But we should remember that every day matters. Every day we spend on this earth matters. Every decision we make matters. Every time we make a bad decision and need to repent, every time we repent matters because it shows that we're learning something and that we're trying to do the best that we can in striving to become holy and treating ourselves with virtue if we care enough about ourselves to repent. And every time we guide someone else to the Lord by teaching them about the Lord and teaching them that they don't have to live in their sins and imperfections, that they can be better than their sins and imperfections, or esteeming others as ourselves if we take the time to teach them about the Lord through our example and through 
the giving of knowledge and support as they investigate the knowledge for themselves and come to know for themselves the truth and holiness of it. And they come to, and we also esteem each other as we are supportive of those who come to know their own holiness and sacredness and as they come to practice virtue that they might be able to do better. We have our agency, however, but if we neglect ourselves, if we neglect to help others, we shall be held accountable for all that we do and all that we say that has not proved helpful to ourselves or others. Satan doesn't want us to care about each other. He wants us to care about ourselves and not look. Christ is our example, for he never can. He gave up his opportunity to practice virtue because, and he took away others' agency for that's what caused the war in heaven. Jealousy and anger, and Satan practiced it. And others, a third group of the hosts of heaven, made the choice to walk away with Satan and after their rebellion. In fact, they even chose to rebel in the first place because they thought Satan was right. And their penalty is forever walking the earth as spirits. And they will, know, they will never know anything better than that. But we can, and we should, and we should remember that we are holy children of God and that we deserve to esteem each other and ourselves. And school ourselves and others on virtue and use it that we may be able to become more holy with each passing day. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.